About eight months ago, Jennifer experienced one of the worst fears every motorist hopes never to encounter, a carjacking that prompted her to seek alternative vehicle security. First was a carjacking, which was not a good experience, and the other issue was the loss of my car. That's a different issue. Actually, they were, I've, I've, I've got, got like two different incidences. Such incidences steered a young innovator whom at the time was 18 years old to develop a vehicle tracking and security software. Any problem that I faced, I was trying to solve it using electronics. So the, the, the friend of mine, when he was carjacked, I said, what can I, what, what, what can I do to stop this? So then I started doing the project. And then when I cleared Form 4, I further developed. Actually, when I, I, was, I, I, uh, when I told people that I want to stop uh, car theft using mobile phone, they thought that I, I was crazy. Maurice Betzer's enthusiasm for technology has been his catalyst towards developing the mobile phone-based tracking software. The installation takes like 30 minutes. Then after that, if, you start your, if somebody gets into your car, the car is going to send you an SMS telling you that somebody is trying to, to get inside your car. If you're the one, then you can just ignore it. And if it's somebody, then you can, you can take, take action. Then you can be able to listen to conversation of the people inside the car and then you can be able to check the status of your car if it's moving, it's not moving, the doors, if the doors are locked. For example, you've parked your car outside, eh? you're in a, an office and you're not sure if you've locked your car. You just go to SMS, you send the command to the car, that's going to reply telling you that the doors are locked and maybe the lights are off, you, uh, AC is on, uh, the, it's, going, uh, it's going also to check the network, the GPS and send all the report to your phone. If it's not locked, you can just send a simple SMS and lock the doors. The system enables its users to control various functions by sending an SMS to a central server which sends the commands directly to the car. If your phone doesn't have internet, you get the SMS where your car is. If your phone has internet, you get the link of the map. So you just click on it, you see where your car is on the map. And then you can also set maximum speed of your car. If you set your max maximum speed of the car at 80, Maybe you've given uh, the, your car to a driver. If you want to, to exceed 80, it's going to send you an alert. Then you can start the car to stop. Compared to other vehicle tracking companies, Morris's product is unique with features like geofencing, which offers his clients the freedom of immediate control over their vehicle using their mobile phone. Geofencing, if you don't want your car to leave Nairobi, you just use a simple SMS command to block the, 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 to, 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 to create the fence. So in case your car wants to leave, it's going to alert you and it's going to, to stop. I, I would say like the jail fencing has really helped. And then in the incidences of like clients who are supposed to return the vehicle, they don't want to say the truth where they are. It really works well because you can just immobilize the car. And uh, most incidences, they, opt to, they, they actually switch off the phone, then you don't have any communication. And with this tracking device, you switch off the vehicle and now the client will look for you, which has really worked well for us. To be very honest, it's, it's uh, pocket friendly and um, it's uh, user friendly at the same time. And uh, it's something that can, anybody can access once, you, once, once you're shown how to operate it. It's, 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 you're done. I mean, it's very easy to operate. With financial and operational support provided by the National Council for Science and Technology, Maurice has now been able to commercialize his innovation. What the National Council has done is actually we, we accommodate anybody with an idea, anybody who is curious, and especially the young uh, innovators as you speak. What we've done almost immediately when I came on board, I initiated the Young Innovators Club, which is already in place. We have given them an office here just to make them come closer to us. But most importantly, we have created a fund, Young Innovators Fund, whereby we advertise in the papers, we, we sensitize them, and they would apply for this grant. And uh, we, we normally give them up to a maximum of one million for them to develop the idea they have to a prototype level. For young innovators like Morris, the inexhaustible opportunities that technology has to offer are just a sneak peek of what Generation Y has to explore.